Well, 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 the awesomeness continues. We got a package. Very indiscreet and very well taped. And I actually might need both hands for this one. This one comes from our friends at T Sport Line. I did have a discount and I also got free shipping because I bought this during the Tesla takeover. And of course, there are parts for Roxy. Ooh, pretty caliper covers. And you're probably wondering why yellow? Well, there's yellow on the SpaceX ring up there. And uh, these are really, really nice. These are your little caliper covers. They go over there. Let's just take a look here. You got all your hardware in here. Some uh, lock rings. Oh, you can give you a little Allen wrench. Let's uh, get one of these bad boys out and take a look. So these are legitimately made out of metal. The powder coating appears to be absolutely stellar on this. I don't see any runs. It looks to be fairly consistent the whole way through. And uh, one of the questions I had, I knew the answer, but this is called a Zerk fitting. It's you, you hook up your grease gun to and you pump it full of grease. That actually does not work. And I know that because it's just screwed in. So make, Make sure you tighten up these screws just on the off chance that this was built on a payday Friday. You don't want to have anything falling off. But thus far, uh, I am extremely happy with the quality of this. I just need to get a 2x4 to drive up on this and start pulling off wheels. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get rocking and rolling. Got her up on our 2x4 for the clearance for the big jack. And then don't forget... You're going to want to use your jack pucks, and I'll show you where these plug in underneath the car just in case nobody's ever seen it. Say hi, Ranger. So that hole right there is where those, pl those pucks plug into. That red, pink looking stuff kind of looks like it's oozing out. That's just a sealant between the scrape guard and the, um, the battery pack. That's what protects you when you hit road debris. So you just take your puck, push it into that hole, and then you can get your jack up underneath it. So here's the next problem. When your car is crazy lowered, you can't get your god dang jack under there with the puck. I even had to switch to my scissor jack. So I have to either build a ladder for this thing to get onto or head over to AutoZone and get like actual ramps. All right, so we half-ass engineered a ramp and then I was able to get my low pro jack under there. Here's our utensil, uh, 21 millimeter socket. I like the ones with the plastic uh, ring around them that we don't damage the inside of your wheel. I already broke them loose and uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's nothing exciting. You break them loose and then you can just kind of unthread them by hand. If anybody's curious, these are the Martian MW03s. These are uh, the, I don't know if they're the actual original originals, but they're the, uh, the first iteration, they have new ones out now. I really like the new ones, although these ones sure are good looking. All right, so I'm gonna get this tire off and we'll take a look at what's going okay, on. Okay, so that was a really bad idea with the low pro jack. It actually started to uh, uh, like fall. So got the car back down, drove it up onto these a little bit better and got the wheel off. So here's actually the, the teen coilovers that I have. Uh, you can see that they mark everything so that they can if any maintenance is done, you can see that nothing has actually moved from where it was tightened down. And uh, these are really, really cool. First time I've actually seen them because you know you can't go in the uh, shop when they're working on them. So I'm gonna go get a set of the, coil, of the uh, caliper covers and let's take a look. Okay, so I did watch one of their tutorial videos first and there is a, a proper way these things sit. And you should be able to kind of wiggle them up and down a little bit but it feels like the uh, Zerk fitting sits on top of the other. And then your end caps, there's one top and bottom. They sit right on top of the rotor. It is really hard to do this with one hand. And, ah, hold on. There you go. And then they just kind of kiss each other like that. And then you run your screw with your uh, lock washer in from the top here. And then the same thing with the bottom one right under that side. 
But uh, yeah, so far they seem to be okay. Let's put a couple screws on here and see what we think. And there we go. Uh, actually putting the, these screws in, this top one was easy. The bottom one was kind of a pain in the ass just because you can't see it. You got to work by feel. But uh, yeah, they, they seem to be on there fairly well. Uh, you can see I put the T-Sport line. I didn't want to put the caliper cover outline on it. I just didn't like the way that looked. But uh, yeah, I think I'm uh, quite happy with them. Let's bolt the wheel on and uh, make sure everything lines up. All right, so we got the fronts on. There's the yellow we're matching. And I'd say they look pretty damn good. So for the backs, I'm gonna have to put my half-ass ramp in reverse and then back up onto them. But God, does that thing sit low. So on top of it getting raised next Friday, um, <laughs> Martian Wheels has the Boss, boss Nos, Boss Nose, whatever, wheel spacers. I have four of those inbound. I was hoping they'd be here today so I'd only had to deal with this once. But uh, yeah, 15 millimeter offset, so we're gonna push the, the tires out just a little bit, and uh, that should really uh, even out the look on this thing. So here we go, back two, and then we'll be done. Just about got the backs done, but there is, this is the Mountain Pass Performance Adjustable Camber Arm. So if you lower your vehicle, I'm not sure if it's to any specific degree or not, but your camber is going to change. So what these do is it allows your wheel to sit proper and that way you get proper tire wear and proper handling and balance and everything. But uh, they did a damn good job and you can see by the pen marks, nothing has moved on this thing. So big ups to Steve over at Zev for uh, putting this all on there. Well, I tell you what, you want, you want to remind yourself how out of shape you are. Pull four tires, jack it up, put all those on and oh my God. Yeah, so uh, I am definitely out of shape. I also need to take a shower from rolling around on the ground. These look amazing. Check these out. The fit and finish on these was absolutely fantastic. And uh, I really like the way they make the, the car pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to go take a shower, drive this around for a minute, and then bring it back, retighten all the lugs. 129 foot-pounds, I believe, mine are set for 130. Uh, you change tires, anything like that, always come back, you know, 100 miles later and just put your torque wrench to them just to make damn sure that everything's good to go. So keep an eye out on my Twitter, uh, Tesla Tim 2 because my first one was permanently suspended. More to that later. <laughs> but uh, I'll put the final pictures up there. And uh, you know, thanks for hanging around with this one, guys. The install's pretty easy. Uh, just make sure you have a really good set of jacks and don't, you know, fab fabricate something like I have because uh, not the best. So the next time you see the car, she's going to be just a little bit higher off the ground with some wheel spacers on her. And uh, yeah, she's just about to where I want her. We're also looking at a very cool wrap for the rest of the car. So stay tuned for that one. Don't know if it's going to happen or not, but stay tuned and, and subscribe and use my referral link if you're going to buy a Tesla. Thanks guys.